If the Manx government gets its way, there'll be a single horse tram track here on the promenade walkway. It's caused quite a lot of controversy and it's going to be raised in Timwold by Graham Crajean. What, what, what are you aiming to achieve in Timwold? Well, what I'm trying to do is, is split out the vote between uh, the promenade, the horse tram track, and I also want to get a commitment from Douglas Corporation that they will run the horse trams for at least 20 years. And we need that commitment because, you know, if we're spending three and a half to four million pounds putting a horse tram track down, we need to know that the people who are running it are committed to that as well. First of all, why, why do you want to, to split this vote into three? Well, I think uh, it's, it's going to be a, a good debate because there's lots of opinions out there about where the horse trams should be, whether we should run it, and this is giving members the opportunity to discuss this and put their points over to the department. But one of the concerns is that from the War Memorial down to the terminus, it's a very narrow uh, walkway, and if you've got children uh, walking down there you know, and then they run straight across a horse tram, you know, there could be some terrible injuries. Because we do have plenty of room here, don't we, on, on this section of Lock Prom. It's very wide here. It is, yes, but there's, there's, there's not going to be any separation between the public and the horse trams. Um, and I was having a look at um, YouTube when they had uh, the San Francisco trams, and they have specified uh, places where people can board, whereas at the moment uh, I, I've seen people just flagging it down the horse tram stops wherever on the promenade. And you could have make it safer by having them in the centre of the road by actually having designated uh, boarding places. Uh, I don't think the department's looked at that. And, and, and when you mention Douglas Corporation, this again raises the ongoing debate over whether ratepayers should be paying for the horse tram service at all. It's an island-wide service attraction. Why, why is Douglas paying for it? Well, I think during the, during the good times, Douglas Corporation had Summerland, uh, they had, well, it was Derby Castle at the time, they had the Villa, and they had all the, the gardens, and they had the horse trams, and all these other bits and pieces, because a lot of the visitors were actually coming and staying in Douglas, and they were getting all the rate income from all the hotels and everything, and that's, that's where I think all the uh, start of these attractions came from for Douglas Corporation. Um, so, yeah, th there is a debate to have, but you've also got the concern that Department of Infrastructure will be devolving some of its duties over to local authorities. And, you know, in the future, it might come down to, you know, they're having to pay for street cleaning, but where does the horse trams come in? And it's costing them over a quarter of a million pounds a year. They lose a quarter of a million pounds a year running the horse trams. Is this something that you're raising because of the, f the feedback that you've had from members of the public? Yes, and uh, I think the concern is that we're seeing charges going on to the public, and I think it's about time we actually s said, well, you know, what we really need to prioritise, and uh, the priority at the moment has to be about how we serve the public and not carrying on with some of the grandiose schemes that we've had, had in the past. Now, I mean, it is a grandiose scheme, this. It's very ambitious. Um, but really, is it not an, an all-or-nothing scheme? Because it is so ambitious. Is it something you could dilute down without, without losing the whole point of it? I, I think uh, it's a very good uh, excuse from the department saying it's bold and ambitious. You know, that's just an excuse for, for trying to get this uh, over-egged scheme through. You know, I don't think they've looked at the, the possibility of actually running the single track down the promenade as, as they should do. You know, if you took the horse trams off for three years as, you know, for the whole promenade to be done, it would save Douglas Corporation three quarters of a million pounds. So you know, by taking it off for that time, it will save them that money and then it will actually be probably in a, a better place. And you know, the history of it is on the promenade. You know, if you move it over to this side, you could, you might as well move it to somewhere else on the island because it won't be the original. It'd be like taking the laxi wheel down and putting it elsewhere.